Okay, had a chance to work on your design a bit. Starting from the left side of the kitchen. Behind these two doors, we'll have four rollout trays. Behind these two doors, we'll have adjustable shelves. I think they'll give you two of them. This is a 90 inch tall cabinet. We're making the assumption that your ceiling height is 95 inches. At the unvaulted area, that would be something that I would confirm with gray construction. Refrigerator wall cabinet here. You can see the panel to the right of the refrigerator. Wall cabinet. You can see the under cabinet molding that I that treatment looks rather nice. I'll show you the profile, a closer look at the profile in my estimate. Actually, I think I'll show it to you now. So that profile looks like this. under cabinet molding. The crown molding you should be familiar with. That looks like this. Looks like we have a bank of three drawers to the left of the dishwasher. Farm sink. It would be good to know what make and model of the farm sink, what make and model farm sink you'd like. If I don't know, then I can make the assumption that you'll pick something that is 36 inches, that will work in the 36 inch wide uh, cabinet that I have here. You can always pick a sink after the fact and uh, before you buy it, let me know what it is and I'll make sure it works. Trash pull out. There's a working drawer on top, and behind this door will pull out, and there'll be two trash bins. Super lazy Susan in the corner. And you can see that under cabinet molding. <coughs> More crown molding. This area is the un this area is the vaulted area, as you know. Cabinet with glass, domestic clear glass. It's a 12 inch cabinet with a drawer and a door. Three drawer cabinet. And I have scooped, what they call scooped the top drawer. So we can have room for this 30 inch cooktop. And I believe I made this 33 wide. Let's check. Yep. So the cooktop, is thir cooktop cabinet is 33 inches wide, so you're probably going to be able to fit most 30 wide cooktops. This is a pull-out filler. I think I've shown you this before. <coughs> Let's open it up so you can see what's going on there. So you can see the pull-out filler. It's a six inch cabinet, but that filler s storage area is probably about four inches, I'm gonna guess, four and a half maybe. We have another 12 inch cabinet next to it with a drawer and a door. Your oven cabinet, again, Pretty important to know what your oven 
um, is going to be the island. I've got a baseboard treatment. Let me show you what that looks like. Looks right here. That goes on three sides of the island. Three drawers, two door, two door, two drawers, three drawers. Wayne's coning on either end. You can see the base uh, board molding. Uh, on this side is 24 inch deep storage. On this side is 12 inch deep storage. Pull this wall cabinet up. I think I got the wall cabinets at 13 inches deep. Yep. 13 inches deep are the wall cabinets. Let's look at this one. 13 inches deep. That gives you a little bit more room inside the wall cabinet. So because these are inset cabinets, you lose a little storage space. Here you can see it's a little more obvious that this cabinet is 12 inches deep. This cabinet is 24 inches deep. I'm going to hit the color button. Now, <coughs> this is kind of important to note. Um, I don't know if I can show you this or not. Yes, I can. <coughs> so, when I do a glass cabinet, most cases, the bottom of the uh, wall cabinet is going to be finished because I'm finishing the inside of that wall cabinet because it's got glass in it. But the adjacent cabinet, which is where I have my mouse now, there isn't really a great reason to finish the interior of the cabinet because there's no glass. But if you notice that the bottom of the cabinet is uh, got a brown wood grain finish on the cabinet that doesn't have glass but over here the bottom of the cabinet is finished like the exterior because it has glass and because the interior of the cabinet is finished so I just want to be I don't want you to have a surprise there now that is the reason why we have one of the reasons why we have the under cabinet molding so if you're sitting down if you're standing you're not going to see that brown underneath the bottom of the wall cabinet if you're sitting somewhere in this room you might see that brown part of the cabinet can't really you're going to be able to see it here I think yeah Maybe where my mouse is pointing, you can see that's brown instead of gray. But I don't think it's going to be an issue as long as you have the under cabinet molding. Let me know if I can answer any questions, but that is what I've got in your kitchen design.